Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 16th of November, 2020, we're going to pop over to the United States Mint and we're going to look at some of the products they have available here. And um, if you recall, it has been a hectic year. Um, for example, in, um, in April, there was only two products available. Uh, in March, I believe there were like six or seven. February, you know, they were running full steam then. Um, but then when you get to April, there's two products there. May has three products. June had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products. And they were all basketball related. Um, and then you had the end of June, which was the historic uh, Weir Farm National Site. So what I'm getting to is that now we are at the end of the year. We're getting blasted by the products at the United States Mint. Now, starting with, I want to say, October 29th till now. And today, like I said, is the 16th. It's only been about two weeks or so. The Mint has had, well, they put us through a, a rigorous workout, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, we all remember what happened here. That was quite um, a debacle. That was a sudden catastrophe, enormously public. However, it never went public. Uh, I never saw anything on the um, on the media, so uh, I guess it's good for the um, it's good good PR for the the, the United States Mint because um, it didn't hit the big news. Um, it only hit the uh, the coin world and the coin news um, community. We know about it. We know how it felt. Um, I'm supposed to get mine today. Uh, the shipping at least says so. Uh, there's people that are, have already sold theirs, got theirs in their in their hands, and uh, sent it off to NGC or PCGS. Um, and then the week after, they had these two, and that was kind of the same story. Um, and then today, they have this. I already did a video about that one. That's the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve 2020 Rolls and Bags. And then we get to here is today's release. And, and they don't stop coming. Um, in the 19th, they come out uh, with some more. On the 20th, there's some more coming out here. On the 23rd, these come out. And this comes out the same day, that five-ounce uh, uncirculated coin. Um, and then the 30th, another week later. So, I mean, this is a lot of product coming out right now. And um, they're going to hit you in your pocketbook if you're a coin collector um, or just, you know, like U.S. Mint products. They're going to hit you hard here in this last uh, month and a half really hard i mean there's so much stuff coming out right now it's ridiculous uh and you still have to put away money for uh um uh, presents right and uh decorations and whatnot so um this is about the mayflower 400th anniversary coins and medals it's a unique collaboration from the united states mint and the royal mint that's from the united kingdom uh, the united states mint is proud to present a collaborative effort with the royal mint the united kingdom the United States Mint Mayflower 400th Anniversary Program is a magnificent ensemble of coins and medals minted to honor an event that changed the course of human history. The transatlantic journey of the Mayflower and its landing in the New World in 1620. The collection includes four limited minted, mintage products, two joint products, and two single product options in gold and silver, sure to delight any collector. Now, there's the two-coin uh, gold proof set. There's the uh, one from the Royal Mint. There's one from the U.S. Mint. And this is the United States Mint. Um, that's the reverse, uh, gold, uh, gold reverse proof. Beautiful coin. Um, now, if you look on it, it's got the uh, ship in rough waters headed over. Um, and every coin uh, minted out of the United Kingdom has to have Her Majesty the Queen on it. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II, that is, right? And then the American U.S. Mint has the perspective of the Native Americans uh, coming, looking at the ship coming into them. And that reminds me of that movie Apocalypto uh, at the very ending. Sorry, I'd ruined a spoiler alert. Um, and then there's the 2020 Mayflower 400th Anniversary Silver Coins. Um, and these are beautiful as well. And these are, um, um, you know, showing how to farm and cultivate the land and grow corn and whatnot. Um, and this one here, I, you know, I've, I've been on the fence about this and, um, I just, oh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Um, the mintage is insanely low. 
The product limit is 9,200. The mintage limit is 14,200. Household order limit of one. Although if you have probably a work address and a home address, you could probably get two, I would imagine. But you'd have to work that out with your boss first. Um, and then, um, let's see. This is the, uh, you know, the, the, the coin and metal that are honoring the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower. Uh, it is the first American-British pairing of a metal and silver coin in the same set. Um, and they got the Union Jack there and the United uh, States flag there. Um, it's, you know, old glory, baby. Beautiful coins featuring similarly styled designs in limited quantities, individually numbered. Um, it's a beautiful set. I, you know, I just, I don't know whether I'm going to do this. Um, will it be the same thing that happened with the end of World War II coins? I hope not. But, you know, my gut is telling me that, and I don't have to go to the bathroom, is telling me that this is going to be a big one. And I should probably jump in at it. But 150 that's quite a bit of money. Um, and look at this. This is, this is what the kicker is. This product will be available for sale on November 17, 2020 at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Okay. 9 a.m. Eastern. That means you on the West Coast are going to have to get up pretty early. Um, so your buzzkill will happen early at 6 in the morning, not at 9 a.m. or noon like the rest of us. Um, so that'll be pretty exciting. Now, really, I have no idea what this is going to do, but my instinct is telling me that this is going to be a hot set. Even if you go over to the uh, other items that are in this, like the, um, the two-coin gold proof set, really mentioned on that. It's ridiculous as well. It's super low. Um, and are these selling? Well, that's a good question because they're already listed. Now there's now there's uh, 47 of these listed. I checked last week. There was probably maybe seven or eight. Um, so these are selling for 150 on the Mint's website. Here they're selling for almost 300. There's 339, uh, 340 really. With that is 345, 350. Uh, it's 400 there. There's somebody bidding on this with nine days left. I'm not sure that's the right amount of time for that. 300 here, 350, 400. 450. This one's got a three days left on that. That's a little bit better. Uh, 162.50 currently. So it's only 12.50 over the current selling price with free shipping. So they're covered with shipping. Um, yeah, it just it looks like there's 600. And let's check to see if there's anything uh, that has been sold for these 400th anniversary coins. I mean, will these be a thing that you can get seven or six times your money like the V75 coins? Probably not. Will you double your money? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to check that sold out and see where we're at with that one. So some of them are selling, are listing for very... Look at this guy. That's an amazing looking set. Oh. So, 800. I can't really tell which one's the... Uh, let me go highest first and see the ridiculous first. Uh, there we go. So it's a gold. That's the first. The silver, the highest, is 800, 750, 719, 7, 7. So a lot of people are thinking this silver is going to be around 600, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Let's go check out the sold items here. Uh, right here, we got 299 for that, 2500, 600, but it's got best offer, 700 with one bid. Yeah, I don't know about that. That was six days ago. And then this one was lower. So, I mean, there's some indication here that it could be, but then again, that could be just something to create some kind of buzz and, and energy that thinks that you're going to get this much. Maybe, maybe that's why people are listing it that much, uh, in this direction because it's got a couple sold here for that. I'm not sure what's going on there, but anyway, thanks for watching folks. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget the like button. I know the mint is putting us through a lot right now. Uh, with all these products coming out and Christmas and Hanukkah coming up and all the presents you got to buy. So um, just bob and weave, you know, only only get what's this, what you think it might be essential. Because um, it's, it's, it's um, obviously it's 2020. It's a tough year uh, for the Mint. And 2020 tells a story, no doubt about it. Um, let start over. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget the like button. And if you like what you're here and see, subscribe to the channel. It's always free. Son of a Silver Stacker. Over and out.